You'll often hear people talking about high poly to low poly workflow. And that basically means projecting high resolution detail from a sculpt or a high resolution model onto a low polygon UV mapped model. Now we've got the ability to do that in Nomad Sculpt and with the addition of quad remesher, it makes it even easier. So let's take a look at how that process works. It is a tough one, it is harder if you're new at this, but take your time and have a look at it, follow along with the video and see how you get on. So let's start with the basics then. So um, reprojection is where we take the high res detail from a high res model to a low res model for lots and lots of reasons, mainly because wherever we're sending this model, if it's not 3D printing, so if it's game or for going into you know things like Blender or anything that doesn't need millions and millions of polygons, it's going to need maps and the maps are going to be generated by a high poly to low poly workflow. Now that might sound really confusing, so I'm gonna basically work through it in this version of Nomad. This is a beta currently. By the time you watch this, it might well be out and available to you. And I'm gonna use something called Quad Remesher, which for those of you that know, is um, made by the same person that made Z Remesher in ZBrush and Quad Remesher in Blender. So it's an amazing script built in. It's, it's, it's a purchase for Nomad when it finally comes out. But trust me, it's well worth it. Well, well worth it. So first of all, let's understand what reprojecting is. So if this is your high-res model and this is millions of polygons, let's just make it easy to understand how this model's made. So it's a sculpted head. It's a sculpted set of horns. It's got a sculpted eye, sculpted teeth, gums, and then the hair. Forget the hair, that's completely separate. We do have a video, if you look above, how to make this hair. So we want to just do it piece by piece. So we're only going to focus on one piece in this video. So we'll focus on the head. So the head is high resolution. And uh, let's have a look exactly how high resolution it is. So it's actually 3.91 million. So it's Basically, let's call it 4 million polygons. So that isn't going to run in most programs um, efficiently. You can't UV unwrap it because it's uh, it's too big. It will crash when you try and UV unwrap it. So there's no UV maps on it. So you're going to need a, another version of that, which is the low polygon version. And then what we need to do is UV unwrap that. And then we need to basically pass all of these details on to that low res mesh. So let me just show you a little bit in Procreate about what that actually means. So let's switch to Procreate. Okay, so we're going to make a really complex rock, really high resolution, couple of million polygons, and we're going to project it onto a very low resolution one. Let's call it a sphere for now. Um, and what we're going to do is all of the detail from here is going to get projected onto here. Now, this one is only low resolution, so the polygons will look something like that. Very, very low resolution. So to be able to get this to match that shape, we need more resolution. So we subdivide this one. So once this is subdivided, we use the normal subdivision in Nomad and we subdivide it. Well, let's just subdivide it up once. And when we do that, each polygon will be divided by four. It's one of the reasons we like quads usually because they're very predictable. And that means that is a higher resolution. So we'll just undo that. So that would mean now let's put these in the middle and we want all of the high res detail off the rock onto the circle. Now, because we've subdivided it, what happens now is when you project the first time, and I'm gonna show you in the other video, this sphere gets a little bit closer. Now it's trying its best with the polygons it's got, but it might not be able to get, because it's, it's still, fairly low polygon, it might not be able to get high enough. So what do we do? We can subdivide it again, and that gives it four times more polygons. So that means it can get even closer when you project. And you just keep projecting, and each time you subdivide and then project, you'll find that it gets a bit closer. Obviously, I'm showing you in 2D here. And once it's quite close, you should find that they look almost identical. The difference being, one 
can't come down from its resolution, the, the one that we started with, and it's, it's, it's a high resolution, multi-million polygon model. But the other one can come up and down and already has a UV map, which means now we can bake maps. And baking maps means we're taking all that detail and sticking it to a 2D map so we can use it in other programs. So let's switch back and we'll do that exactly with the bullhead. Okay, back to our bull head then. So what we're going to do is just take this head. So I'm going to outline it and I'm only going to work on that head. So it's called bull head here. So the first thing you need to do is duplicate that. So we're going to go clone and we've got bull head one and bull head three. It's called now as it happens. Now bull head three is going to be our um, high res head. So we'll rename that as bull high. Okay, so we've got the bull head, which is going to be our low res one, and we've got bull high. So we're going to want the bull head to be below the bull high. Just, just bear with me on this one. And then we want to hide everything else in the scene, literally everything in the scene, even the lights if you want, if you want to completely just get it back to, to, to utter basics. Um, I'm going to put them back on just so that you can see what I'm doing a little bit better. Okay, so we've now got in the frame the bull head. So the first thing we want to do is we want to remesh that. So we'll go to quad remesher, which is during this video, actually, when I was recording it, this was released. So if you want to use quad remesher now, you can. It's a $15 fee inside of Noman. Now, when I'm in here, I'm going to turn symmetry off. I'm going to say quads. I'll have 20,000. You could say whatever you want there. You could say 10,000, but I want 20. To, so to be really sure we've got a nice mesh and I'll just say remesh. Now that'll take probably about 20 or 30 seconds, but we, we can jump forward. And when that's calculated, put on wireframe and you'll see what you've got. Now I've gone really high res there and I probably think that's too much for me actually. So I'm going to go backwards. So I'm going to do undo. And I'm going to change that quads back to 10. And then I'm going to recalculate. And there you go. Make sure you put 10K or 10 zero, zero, zero. You, you can't just put 10. I made a mistake there, so I had to redo it. Um, so there you have your retopped um, head. And that's more than good enough for what we want to do to, to project maps on, to uh, project the high res on it. So what we're going to do is I'm not even going to check it for any errors. There might be errors that I'd want to, to improve a little bit, but we, we can just move ahead with this one so we'll come up here to miscellaneous and we'll go to unwrap and we'll just get it to do an unwrap for us so that will just literally unfold the whole thing so that we can project onto it if you hit inspect at the bottom and you can see there it's done as like a tiled map there so there are ways to affect that um in remesher and i'm covering those over the next week so look out for more videos about guides and about um density painting as well so you've got the uv map and you've got the um, the head at a fairly low polygon level or low enough to, to come out. So what we need to do now is bake the high-res detail on. So this is where you have to watch very, very carefully if you've never done this before. So we've got the lower-res bull head and we've got the high-res bull head. And if you look there, turn wireframe off. So see it like that. You can see one projecting through the other is the right word i suppose so you can see where i've got this one and you can see where i've got this one and obviously they're in the same space so what we need need to now do is to get all of that detail from this high res one onto this low res one so all we do we're on the low res and we come back to that same panel and we're going to use this here which is called reproject now if i reproject Vertex, this from itself or from high res. I only use from high res because it, it seems to work the best for me. But if I did it now, virtually nothing would happen because it's still the same level of polygons on the lower res. So before we do it, what we have to do is give this more polygons. So we have to go up here and we have to go to multi res and subdivide it. Now, if you subdivide it once, it's going to go up by four times the amount. So it's, I don't know what our low res one is, but you can see uh, there it says 129K. So we probably were higher than the than, than the 10K that we asked it for, but it doesn't matter because it was still low res. So this is four times the amount now, and we can do a projection now from that. So we go miscellaneous, bake, um, sorry, project from high res, and then we just go project from high res, 
and it will get as close to that higher res one as it can. And as you can see there, it's it does look like it's closer. It does look like it's made it. Um, the 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 difference between the light coloured one and the um the 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 high res sculpted one is less. So you and that, and as we go up in resolution and in projection, you'll see it. Now you can do it all in one go. You could do subdivide, 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 and project. But it, it's much more accurate if you do it slowly like this. So we'll do another multi-res. We'll subdivide the lower again. You can see in the background the wireframes getting dense, more and more dense. So then you go back to your miscellaneous and you go reproject vertex from high res and push again. Now each time it's going to take four times longer, roughly. And as you can see, it's got even closer to it. So what, what we're going to be able to see soon is that it looks almost exactly identical. So we're going to do it one more time. We're going to go multi-res. We're going to go um, subdivide again. Now it'll have 2 million polygons now, so it's going to be really, really high res. But we'll still do it. Miscellaneous. And we'll do reproject. But before we do that, let's have a look at the settings in here. So it's saying, what do we want to project? So we're saying metalness, vertices, roughness, color, opacity, and the face groups. So it's giving you lots of options to, to, to you know, to, to mess around with there. You've got some settings in here, cage radius and ray bias. I haven't played with those much yet, but they're both on and they're both at the default, the default setting. So, you know, by all means, have a play with them as, as you get more and more experience with this. Um, so what we'll do is we'll do one more and we'll go back to reproject vertex from high res and ask it to calculate again. And there you go. That's our last projection. So now the two models are going to look almost exactly the same. So what do I mean by that? So face groups are on, which we didn't really need those for this for this exercise. So if you see there now, we have actually two models in the same space. So let me show you what that means. I'm going to do this. You don't do this bit now, but I'm going to show you anyway. So the high res one, we no longer need. So what we can actually do just to show you this is I can pull it over to the side. And what that's showing us there is this is our original model. And with wireframe on, you can see the difference a little bit, I hope. So that one, super dense, super messy, no UVs. OK, this one. Super dense, less messy, because you're seeing an example of our topology underneath, but subdivided, but just as dense and with the colour on. But it's only what we call vertex painted at the moment. It's not captured onto a texture map. But what you can see is there's still a UV map. So now see here, there's actually uh, some polygons going across. That means that I got some of it masked here. So I'm going to undo this and bring it back into the same space but it shows you what, what, what I was saying. So what we can do is we don't need that high res head now, so we can delete that, which leaves us just with our, our head. And if I, if I come back up to the top and I turn the wireframe off for a minute, I'll do it once with wireframe off and once with wireframe on. So this is our highest res, but now we can come up and down the resolution. So one, to watch it go in less and less and watch the wireframe in the background so that's the uv map so that's now our lowest res wireframe on there you go so this model has a low poly uv mapped topology but it's also got the high res data all baked in inside it so it looks exactly the same but now what we can do is we can take that low res out and we can project all of this detail onto it using maps so how do we do that bit that's the next bit so that's very, very simple. So we simply come over here and we go to our maps, our, our textures down here. This, this is where they're going to appear. So we're going to get we're going to get a color texture uh, or a diffuse map, a normal map, probably a roughness, a metalness, uh, not an opacity uh, and not an emissive. And they're going to appear down there. How do we get them to appear there? So it's quite simple. We come back up here. And we go back to our geometry tab that we were in and back to our miscellaneous. And the bit above where we've just worked is bake texture. And we can say bake from high res or bake from itself. Now we've deleted the high res. So for, for now, we'll bake from itself. If you want to or it doesn't work very well, just bake it from the high res. So you can have one above the other in the stack. 
Resolution will say, can we have 2K? Now, I'd normally do 4K, but for you to make it quicker, I'll do 2K. That's 2048 or 2048 both ways on the map. And obviously, it's square. And in the settings in here, I want roughness, normal, metalness. So, so sorry, normal roughness, metalness, colour, emissive. And I'll, I'll do opacity, but nothing will come of that. Um, and then it says back up painting to a layer. Well, we we don't need that. We don't we don't need that painting on a layer that would appear up here, and we'll leave those other settings the same. So let's just bake it and see what happens. So we'll say bake from self or from itself, and it will calculate now. How do I see it? Remember, I showed you. So come back to your maps, and you'll see down here now you have a set of maps. So it's got the color, it's got the roughness. And it's got the metalness. But what it didn't do is it didn't bake us a normal map. So to do that normal map, which is the most important one, we will have to use that other process. So that will mean putting back in our high res. So I've just undone it. We've got bullhead high and we've got bullhead here. And what we want to do now is project onto this from the one above it. So they're both visible. So you can see that they're both visible. And the lower one here, we're going to make it low res. So we're going to come back up here and we're going to go multi res all the way down. So that's a low res one. And now we're going to go back and ask it to bake that map for us. So come back up to, to our miscellaneous and we'll do bake texture from high res. And it will now give us, let it calculate. If you now go and look, you'll see that it's given us a normal map. And that basically now is how we make our maps, all of our maps. So you'll need that, or I, I found that I need the high res for the normal map and just it, itself for everything else. So what do we do then with those maps? So obviously uh, they need to come out. So the way I've been doing it, uh, and you can try this with lots of different ways, I just take it all out as an OBJ. So I just do export OBJ and I tell it to do everything. So pretty much I just turn everything on. And then when you export it, that appears with a folder. Now the update, the current update, if you don't have um, all of these other, uh, basically if there's no maps on it, the OBJ won't make you a folder, but this will make you a folder and put all of your textures in. And then you can just load that into your other programs. So here's a quick example of it in Sketchfab. So I've just gone into Sketchfab, loaded the OBJ in, and now I'm just going to go into our materials. And we've got all of these maps, so I'll just show you a couple. So um, first of all, we'll just ask for the uh, base color, which is this one. And we'll say texture, and we'll import that one. And there you go, there's our texture. Um, uh, that's our low poly bullhead. There's a there's an error there, actually. I noticed on the bullhead that we hadn't painted that, but that's that's the kind of thing you should work out before you get to the export. And then um, we want the normal or bump map, so we'll bring that in. We'll turn it on first of all, and then bring in the normal. Hit the texture, manage the textures, import the texture from our files. Bring in the normal map, say open and tap it and there you go there's our normal map and you can increase and decrease the strength of the normal map so that's how you get the maps in you can carry on and you can put your opacity your um, ambient occlusion or, or anything that you've managed to to gather um, <clears throat> certainly something like your uh, roughness and metalness if th this is a whole workflow in itself but that is how you get out all of your maps and your baked information onto a normal map into an, uh, another program in this case it's just sketchfab i hope that video has been useful and if it has please give us a thumbs up it does help us to keep growing the channel we're just about to hit 50,000 uh, subscribers so that's a huge leap for us and also if you want to um, uh, help us keep building that then please subscribe down below have a great week everyone